Hello everyone, welcome back to another ice fishing video. I know I haven't made one in a while, and uh, that's because I am currently out of province for work right now. But I did come back over the winter break, and uh, decided to hit up one of my favorite lakes in southern Alberta. And in this trip, we actually went to one of our spots in Lake Newell. So for anyone who is unfamiliar with Lake Newell, it's actually a very big lake. But typically, I don't see a lot of people fishing it. So by that logic, there should be a lot of giants in there. Um, you know, some of the biggest pikes that I've ever caught came out of this lake. So there's quite a healthy population of, uh, you know, you can catch pike and perch and whitefish. Um, there's a lot of walleye in here, and I've seen some really big burbot. I've seen some 10 plus pound burbot. So, as you can obviously see, today we are targeting the whitefish. So, whitefish are a really fun species to catch, partly because during this period of time, they actually like to hang around in shallow beds. So, you can actually sight fish them, which is always fun. And uh, it's also because there are a lot of them. Um, you know, it's not uncommon to see four or five whitefish um, swim by your hole. So, you know, my, my personal record for whites in this lake was 23 in, uh, in a day for ice fishing and over 50 in the open water. So they're a very productive fish to catch if you can time it right and uh, get them in the right season. So the setup that I have here um, is a very straightforward setup. I just have a dropper loop setup and depending on the month that I'm fishing, I will use different color wireworms, flies, copper nymphs, uh, prince nymphs, and these little fake scuds, which are these tiny little freshwater shrimp that they like to chomp on. So right now though, the wireworms are working quite well and they will continue to work well for another two weeks or so and then they stop being as effective because their diets will change and then typically from this point on you know I will use a size 14 copper nymph with just like a little bit of a uh, you know black hair attached to it and uh, with the wireworm here though I like to rig them so they're hanging kind of 45 degrees um, I know a lot of guys that swear by various presentations, you know, horizontal presentation, vertical presentations. And I find that it doesn't really matter. Um, it's all about the jigging action. And with the 45 degree angle, you just get a better kick out of the worm every time you every time you flick it. So and and whitefish, you know, they're a very picky bunch. Um, they're very clumsy eaters. I've had whitefish come in for the hook, they would miss, and then they would turn around, and then miss again, you know, five or six times before finally getting the hook in its mouth. So in that sense, it's almost like a chess game. You know, you can feel your adrenaline and the tension build up, because one wrong move and you'll scare them away and they won't ever, you know, turn back, which means that it's also equally rewarding when they finally do take the hook. So another thing about the setup is that, uh, you know, with the nymphs and the wireworms, is that I've caught almost every species of fish on this. Um, I've landed 15-pound pikes to really fat walleyes and perch. As you can see, a lot of perch. They really like the setup. And even a couple of burbot, believe it or not. So, um, you know, when you drop this setup down the hole, it's always a surprise what you might get. And yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed these action shots, and uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.